kingdom ruled by the good King Ethelred. Nobles came from far and wide for a great celebration at the king's castle. Everybody in the kingdom was dressing in their finest and putting his best foot forward on this day, for it was almost Princess Daphne's birthday. I have the greatest gift of all for Princess Daphne. Nothing you could get her would even come close. Did somebody mention my name? Derek, were you and Sir Hubert talking about birthday presents by any chance? I, uh, well... Uh, no, Your Highness, it was just Sir Hubert Blunt boasting what a great gift he got you. Ooh. Oh, Sir Hubert's always carrying on. I'm sure Dirk the Daring got me something much better. Er, well, no, not yet. But I shall undertake a quest. A quest to find you the greatest birthday gift ever! A quest? That's a wonderful birthday present! When do we start? Well, I don't think that is I... Uh, we'll have to go alone, Daphne. I mean, how would it look for you to go on a quest for your own gift? That's always the way it is. Princesses aren't supposed to go on quests. It's okay, really. Just don't forget, my birthday's tomorrow. So, Dirk wants a gift for his pretty princess. Well, I shall help him find one. He... Knock it off! Do I have your attention? Good, good. Take the golden falcon and make sure Dirk finds it. But fools, make certain that Dirk does not find it too easily. We don't want Dirk to suspect anything. Huh? Who's there? Hello? Anybody? Boy, the nerve of some people. Wow! Master Dirk better see this right away! Hmm. Where am I gonna get a gift for the princess? Master Dirk! Master Dirk! <laughs> this better be important, Squire Timothy. Oh, it is! It is! A brave knight will find... A royal gift of flight at Limestone Cavern. Wait a minute. Limestone Cavern? That's in the Dragon's territory. Yes, but it's worth it for a royal birthday gift. The quest for Daphne's gift begins tonight. Are you sure this can't wait till morning? Yeah. 
stay back while I scout ahead. Guess I'll just have to go through that door. Come on, goons, come and get me. <laughs> Could you give me a hand? <laughs> Thanks for the hand. A uh, hoof, Bertram. <laughs> There's something really creepy going on here. I'll bet Singe is behind it. Then you two wait for me outside. I won't be long. Be careful, Master Dirk. Dragon's teeth. That note was right. It's beautiful. A real gift for a princess. Oh, I hope Master Dirk finds a gift for the princess soon so we can get out of here. Beautiful, isn't it? I'd sure like to know who slid that note under my door. <laughs> Don't worry, old friend. Home, Bertram. Home, Timothy. We're off to Daphne's birthday. Perfect. My plan will take effect tomorrow. Tomorrow. So, Dirk was free to take the fabulous golden statue and leave. Now, Singe was never known for his generosity. What could the evil dragon's plan be? Thank you! Oh, it's lovely! Oh, thank you so much! This is just wonderful! Hmm. Pretty songbirds, Sir Knight. Wonderful gifts they be. No thanks. I already have a gift fit for a princess. It's blunt. A gift fit for a princess, your highness. Oh, Sir Hubert. Uh, Sir Hubert, I, I don't know what to say. It's, it's you. <laughs> Happy birthday, princess. Uh, excuse me for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, it's... it's magnificent! Oh, magnificent! Oh, yes! Well, it's nothing, Daphne. I just don't know who this is from. It's from me! I braved the limestone cavern to fetch this for you. Happy birthday, Princess! Oh, dear! Dirk, you shouldn't have. You almost ruined, uh, ruined my celebration with that thing, Sir Dirk. <clears throat> Be more careful. <laughs> it is time. Gather the forces while I liven up their little party. Do it now! The key to the kingdom is mine to hold. Unlock the door, 
bird of gold. Come to life, spring into flight, deliver the princess to me tonight. <laughs> Bird. Get me down from here! Jerk, you know I don't like heights! Surrender, Ethelred! Surrender your castle and your kingdom to Singe, or you will never see the pretty princess again! You have one day, one day! I say, what do we do now? We'll go. We'll rescue the princess. Singe can't do that to us. No, your majesty. I am responsible for this. I'll go alone. Besides, it'll be safer for just one night to brave the dragon's lair. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, well, I, 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 I do see your point, but... Uh, well, uh, 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 good luck, Sir Dirk. Giddy goons! Ready to have Adam? Have it? Who? Master Dirk? Huh? I think Sin set a trap for us! Sin had set a trap indeed. With giddy goons advancing from one direction and with mud men coming from the other, what would you do? Which way did you choose? If Dirk had gone to fight the mud men, this would have been his fate. Fortunately, Dirk decided to attack the giddy goons instead. But Master Dirk, I thought you knew where Singe's castle was. A tavern! There's bound to be somebody there who can tell us where Singe's castle is. What do you think, Tim? Think they might know the way? Excuse me, friends. Can you tell me how to get to the dark castle of Singe the dragon? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I... <laughs> you mean I just stay on this road? Thanks for the help. There it is, Singe's castle! Let me out of here, you oversized toad! Look, Singe, why don't you make it a fair fight? Just you and me. Until your father turns his kingdom over to me. Never. He'll never give you his kingdom. That would be too bad for you. I've been waiting for you, knight. Come and join your princess. <sighs> Whoa! 
Go back that way. The bridge or the rope? Or is there another way across? What would you do? If Dirk had chosen the bridge, this would have happened. And if he'd chosen the rope... Oh, no! It seemed hopeless. What to do? I'm coming, Daphne! Stay put till I get back! Well, by the dragon's teeth! You have no doubt come to tell me that Ethelred's kingdom is mine! Oh no, he hasn't! He's come to rescue me and cook your scales, dragon! Haven't you, Dirk? They don't call me Dirk the Daring for nothing, you know. Get the key, Dirk. The key to my cage. It's around Singe's neck. Oh, I think he's about to make things really hot. Hurry, Dirk! I have you this time. He's stuck. Oh, it's Singe. Boy, am I glad to see you. I was afraid something awful happened and we were just... <laughs> Let's get out of here. We're a long way from Singe's castle now, Master Dirk. But we're not a long way from Singe or his giddy goons. They're still after us. Stop over there, next to that stone arch. I have an idea. When Singe hits these logs, we've got him. Here he comes. Daphne, where are you? Uh, uh, come on, dragon. To you, my daughter has been saved. My kingdom has been saved. And my birthday's been saved. <laughs> well, let the celebration continue. <laughs> Master Dirk, what do we do for a birthday gift now? I'll buy one of your birds. Had a change of heart, eh? Yeah, well, that other bird was enchanted, and we had to go deep into the forest, and... Oh, Dirk, it's lovely! 
all was well in the kingdom once more as a simple, lovely songbird proved to be a better gift than Singer's fabulous golden one. Have you ever wondered how the knights of old became knights? They did their drills every day, usually under the watchful eye of an experienced knight like Sir Hubert Blunt. Some of the young squires caught on at once. Others, like our squire Timothy, had to work a bit harder to prove themselves worthy of knighthood. Mount up, you! You! Poor excuse for a squire. Yeah. <laughs> You'll never get it right. Maybe I'm not cut out for knighthood. Of course you are. Just stick with it, Tim. Being a knight isn't easy. Yeah. Well, being a squire isn't exactly plum pudding either. Oh, Torgren, what am I going to do? You get the hang of it, Tim. I just need a chance to prove myself. <laughs> All you have to do is save the kingdom from a horrible monster. I've got guard duty. See you tomorrow. Now, where am I to find a horrible monster? Where to find a monster? The Hall of the Lizard King may do very well. Gold! I need more gold. More gold means more power for my magic pot. I could control all the king's armies. I want the map to Ethelred's secret gold mine. Do you understand? <laughs> when jousting, it is important to keep your shield high. Maps these be. You there! What are you doing? Ow! <laughs> Stop us now, he won't. <laughs> now back across the lake we go. What is it? What's going on? Prepare for a quest, Tim. The map to the Royal Gold Mine has been stolen, and we must get it back. The map? But Torgi, I mean Squire Torgren, was on duty. Where are you taking him? To the jail, until the map is recovered. 
Uh, I was on duty, Tib. You know the rules. Oh, no. Torgi! The only way to clear Torgrin's name is to find the real thieves. Torgi? Are you all right? Those lizard men tricked me. Now what do I do? I'll think of something, Torgi. Sir Hubert didn't see that. Lizard men, watch out! Sir Timothy is on the quest for the map! Where could he be? Does anyone know where Timothy is? <laughs> He's where? <laughs> well, where is he? You mean he went in search of the thieves on his own? <laughs> Looking for a squire, brave knights? Why are you dressed like that? Well, you need a squire, don't you? But, but... Oh, let's go. It's darker than I thought. I wish Master Dirk were here. Getting that was easy, eh? It's them! Oh, what, what to do now? I'll follow them. Very boat, Captain. Hey, what's this? Back across Lake, you will take us. What are we waiting for? I've got to stop them. know about that, eh? Following us, are you? <laughs> Let me go! Where young human be? If you two want a ferry, let's be on with it! I better find out where they're going. Have you fellows seen a young squire traveling alone? All right, you asked for it. They're getting away! We've got to find a boat and follow them. No, we'll take the footpath around the lake and head them off there. Both! Ha! Then, then go, go your, your own, own way! way. <laughs> Let the boy pass! He's not a threat! That will lure Dirk the Dutch to trap! Is someone there? Just my imagination. A few surprises were planned. They can't be too far ahead. This is going too smoothly. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything's... Dirk, look out! Oh! By the dragon's teeth! Oh, it's a trap! Indeed, Dirk is right. Vicious wolves on one side, and deadly pythons disguised as vines in the trees on the other. <laughs> 
And there's the pit that Dirk doesn't even know about yet. What should he do? What would you do? Which way did you choose? If Dirk had chosen to seek safety in the trees, this would have happened. Fortunately, Dirk spotted the pythons before it was too late. But Dirk still must make a decision. Should he face the approaching wolves? Had he? This would have happened. It would have been the right decision, but Dirk made another choice. One he may have regretted. This way! We'll outrun those beasts! Bertram! Up, boy! I've lost them. Ouch! If only I could be more like Master Dirk. Maybe I could try harder. No. No, I do everything wrong. Boy, we take him? Yes! Good sport for our king he be! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? A merry present! For the lizard king you be! The, 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 the lizard king? Oh. You, you can't do this! No! our way out. Here, I'll demonstrate. Let us, princess. I thought you'd never ask. It's done. send his best and finest knight. If this is the best Ethelred can send me, then I have nothing to fear. <laughs> I should have known you'd be in league with this. This lizard. Magic pot of coins. Disarm our visitor. Strange scribblings. 
No one can read this but a human. You shall lead me to the king's gold. It's good Timothy likes apples, but the trail ends here. Lizard tracks. The lizard men must have Timothy. There must be a secret entrance, but where? You did it, Bertram. <laughs> this must be the entrance to the Lizard King's den. If he has Tim, he may have the map as well. It's time to go. Ethelred's gold awaits me. Your quest ends here, Lizard King. I'll take the map and my friends. Sir Dirk, I knew you'd come. It's about time. But Dirk will need my help. This is no time to rest. You must save Timothy and Father's map! It's too late for that, Princess. One hope of escaping. The arch bridge. Use it if you dare. <laughs> Again, Dirk the Daring must decide. They couldn't climb down, for they were sure they'd perish in the molten lava lake. The arch does lead to freedom, but can it hold Dirk's weight? What would you do? Had Dirk chosen to climb the arch, this would have been his fate. Dirk, Princess Daphne, and Bertram all realized there was a better way. I'll go. You? I'm lighter than you are. Uh, uh, well. Wish me luck. Here I go. The princess landed safely, but what of Dirk and Bertram? I'll use a rock to break the glass. The lizard's magic pot will do the rest. Daphne knew the lizard king's magic pot pulled any metal to it. So this is what she did. Ready? You'll have to leave it. The lizard king is getting away. We'll stop him, and I know just how to do it. Uh, uh, this way. I'm sure the map says this way. No, Sir Hubert. I, I think it's this way. Uh, uh, or, or is it that way? Enough! Is there no one who can tell me what I want to know? May I be of assistance? I will tell you what you want to know for one gold coin. Can you lead me to Ethelred's gold mine? And much, much more. The mine you seek is beneath the fortress. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can't do this. It's treason. For a bit of gold, Tim, an old beggar will do anything. Tim? Sir Dirk? I won't let you betray my king. Dirk? A trap master? One that won't succeed. <laughs> I'll get you, 
for that. Daphne, Bertram, and get ready. Ready? Remember to pull hard when Dirk gives the signal. Just a few more feet. I've got to help Sir Dirk. I hope my aim is right. Now, Lizard, you're finished. Daphne! That lizard won't be bothering anybody for a long, long time. If it wasn't for your help, Tim, my plan might not have worked. You'll make a fine night someday. For your bravery, I grant you one request. Squire Timothy, choose well. Please, sire, give Squire Torgren another chance. Granted. Oh, thank you, sire. Thank you. So ends the story of Sir Timothy's quest. A quest that proved his bravery and saved the king's fortune. It was the day of the big tournament at King Ethelred's castle. Soon to be interrupted by an evil stranger. Oh boy! Fabulous! <laughs> Fabulous! Oh, Father, look! It's Dirk the Dairy! <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Dirk! Good luck, Sir Dirk! Thank you, Tim. Uh-oh! Uh -oh. <laughs> mm. Ready, Bertram? Very familiar. Oh well, let the toast begin. Look out! 
Watch my old enemy, the Phantom Knight. He kept his hands on me. He turned me into a Phantom. Jack! Anyone help! Bert can follow the trail, all right. Just asking. <laughs> what was for <with> that? <sighs> Dogs? <laughs> I told you my best knife would come for me. So I'd hoped. Get them, my pets. <laughs> what do we do now, Master Dirk? Quick, this way. Would you say we we're in trouble? Of course we're alive. Looks like those hounds are gone. All clear. We better get gold. Master Dirt, what's the matter? <laughs> Something must have conked Master Dirk on the noggin. He thinks he's a dog. Laroc, the old wizard, lives around here. Maybe he can help. Come on, boys, let's go. I hope we find Laroc soon. Is that food I smell? Come back here, boy! Wizard, you seek. First, we'll put Dirk the Daring to rights. 
This magic herb powder should do the trick. Wolf? <laughs> I had the strangest feeling I was a dog. Silly, isn't it? I know about your mission. Then you'll know we've got to hurry. Wait. The Phantom Knight is a nasty, evil demon who needs to be stopped. This magic cloak will be of some help to you. It won't tear. Doesn't seem to ever get wet. To find the Phantom Knight's castle, you must first cross Doom's Marsh. Watch out for the acid creature there. Then you must pass through treacherous Havenwood. You will find both friends and foe there. You must defeat the evil Phantom Knight. Or we are all doomed. It shall be done. Watch out! Don't step there! Bert, be careful! This is the fastest way to the Phantom Knight and our king! Job crossing that bog, Bert. Whoa, Bert! Yeah! <laughs> you do have a good reason for this. <laughs> Princess Daphne, here? In trouble? I think you're right. But that's Princess Daphne and the acid creature. Dirk, somebody help! What should Dirk do? He must rescue the king. But Daphne is in terrible danger from the acid creature. What would you do? close by in the grasp of the evil phantom knight. Dirk might have chosen to attack the ghoulish creature and save the king. And this would have happened. <laughs> Dirk, however, wisely rescued the princess instead. It's a trick. They're not really there. After the princess, Bert. <laughs> You don't scare me, you big pile of mush! Huh? How do you stop this thing? Master Dirk, the old wizard's cloak! from your highness I'm here to rescue my father <laughs> Timothy must you be so clumsy I should have known you'd show up of course that was a pretty daring rescue Dirk oh well uh... your sword's ruined here take this one uh, 
thank you, princess. <clears throat> We'd better get going. Uh, Dirk? Do you think you could get me out of this armor? <laughs> Comfortable, Ethelred? <laughs> What do you think you're doing? <laughs> I defeated you when I was a prince, and I can still do it. I will have my revenge, and you will share my fate. Let's not be hasty. I mean, I only defeated you once. Once was enough. You are the only one who ever defeated me. First a trance. And then you will become a phantom too. And so, Dirk the Daring and Princess Daphne passed safely through Doom's Marsh. But as the old wizard Leroc had said, they must also pass through Havenwood Forest if they are to reach the Phantom Knight, a place of both good and evil. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling that we're not alone? What was that? <laughs> That's a good question. Go ahead, Bert. Slowly. But, but what about those terrible creatures with their fangs and claws? Hey, wait for me! Oh. Help! Help! Wait here. By the dragon's teeth! Sir Dirk, look! Little monsters! <laughs> Now we're really done for! <laughs> All fine now! Thank you very much! Whoever you are! I guess you're not monsters after all! <laughs> oh no, we're Havenwood dwellers. And you're the one who defeated the acid creature. Well, I... Very well done, Sir Knight. Follow us. Wow! Nice trick. Seek the Phantom Knight. Can you help us? The evil one lives to the east, beyond Havenwood. Hey, how come that wood isn't burning up? <laughs> <laughs> It is a very special wood. It does lots of things our special wood does. Nothing can harm our wood. Not even lightning. <laughs> Impressed. Where do you get this wood? It's from the old one, the first tree in Havenwood. Here, these are our gifts to you for defeating the acid creature. Those staffs will help you even against the Phantom Knight. We'd better hurry, Dirk. I'm worried about father. We're almost there, Daphne. Just a few more feet. And there it is. The Phantom Knight's Fortress. Do you think he's expecting us? <laughs> Quick, jump! Get up now! 
accept your challenge. <laughs> Good. Prepare yourself. Ready, sir, fiend. Ready? Now! I'll get you. Darn missed. Well done, Bert. That heap of pins getting away with my father! those energy blasts unharmed. What would you do? Had Dirk taken the direct approach, he wouldn't have gotten very far. Dirk did have the magic Avonwood staffs, of course, but how could he use them? This way? Dirk, however, knew there was a better way to use his magic staffs. This way. I sure am glad that Worcester taught me how to do this. Sire. Can't <laughs> little rusty. Should have been able to handle that phantom myself. I need to go along on more quests. The king wants to go on more quests? Oh, no! And thus ends this tale of how Dirk the Daring saved the king and won the tournament of the dreaded Phantom Knight. blacksmith at a place called Smithy's Knoll. The ancient sorcerers Dagda and Morigu rewarded the smithy for his brilliant work with a magic hammer that could turn ordinary metal to gold. And with magic fire that could give life to metal and stone. At first, the smithy prized his magical gear. But years passed, and he turned them toward evil. I have made the greatest weapons ever, he said. With them, I can become king. But the sorcerers, Dagda and Morris, had not given the magical gifts for evil purposes. Because he had become evil. 
the sorcerers turn the smithy to bronze, fated to forever keep watch over his magic weapons and armor. He could only be released and defeated by a noble knight. But even a good sorcerer can, in time, become evil. Many years later, the smithy's tale had been forgotten, although the poor king was certainly in need of a new suit of armor. What is the matter with this armor? It has been a long time since you've worn this armor, sire. And what is that supposed to mean? N -n Nothing, your highness. <laughs> I think father's unhappy. And I'm, I, I'm, I, well, what am I to do? I just don't understand. The suit of armor always fit before. It is a puzzle, father. <laughs> Uh, uh, maybe it shrank. Oh, that's not the point! I'm supposed to go on a royal tour of the kingdom in two days. Oh, no! You need your fancy armor. We'll begin a quest for the finest armor in the land. We don't need a quest, Dirk. Just a blacksmith. Don't worry, Father. Sir Dirk and I will get you a new suit of armor. Anyway. I'll surely be sorry, Your Highness, but armor such as that, well, could be a month at least. There's not a blacksmith in town who can make Father's armor in two days. Don't worry, Daphne. There's one more blacksmith we haven't tried. No, Your Highness. Couldn't make armor like that in less than a fortnight. Oh, if it can't be done, it can't be done. Thanks all the same. Oh, that was the last blacksmith in town, Dirk. Perhaps what you seek is not in this town. Don't be alarmed. I am Walker, and I only wish to help our king. Help? What kind of help? Indeed. I can help you find the greatest suit of armor ever made. I can lead you to it, but only a bold knight like you can gain possession of it for the king. Hmm. I am a bold knight. Oh, Dirk, armor! I'll get my squire and we'll be on our way, Walker. and cross that valley before nightfall. Look sharp, Sir Dirk. There may be danger there. He does.
Of course. Well done, Sir Dirk. Dirk, that other dragon just vanished! Hmm. I must have scared it off. Come, we have almost reached our destination. <gasps> I've never seen anything like it! There is nothing like the glass castle. Once the home of Dacta and Maragu. Who and who? Two ancient sorcerers, masters of lore and magic. But the castle is empty. Dacta and Maragu are gone. Let's go in for just a quick look, Dirk. Well, I... No, there is danger. The castle is guarded by the Kale Rock. Attack! Quickly, Sir Dirk! Come on, you kale a curl up! Kale Rog! And your sword is useless! Only diamonds can harm it! Fresh out of diamonds. Dirk! Catch! A gift from Princess Daphne! Destination, Smithy's Knoll. Inside is the armor we seek. Must be some suit of armor. Sir Dirk, you and I must go in alone. The princess and squire can keep watch here. You've uh, been here before? A long time ago. But I remember the way. Interesting, but that armor doesn't look very special. You'll see. What? Gone? Someone has been here. Any idea who? Too bad this statue can't tell us. Put the blade of your sword into the forge, Sir Dirk. What for? The fire is the lock. Your sword is the key to the mystery. Huh? Well, if you say so. Sure wish that armor was as good as I'd hoped. The king needs a really nice... Walker! What the... Smithy, speak. Where is the hammer? Walker, where are you going? Tricked. Tricked or not, Dirk had to think quickly. Should he try to fight all these magical weapons at once? Should he try to grab the armor and run? And what about the smithy? Could he hope to fight the ancient magical creature? If you were Dirk, what would you do? What did you decide? If Dirk had tried to duel with the magical weapons, this would have happened. And if Dirk had dodged those dangers and attacked the smithy, this would have happened. Huh? Dirk, however, knew that the odds were too great. A smart knight knew when to retreat so he could fight another day. Dirk? I don't know what happened in there, but you'd better explain yourself. We're listening, Walker. I didn't trick you. The magic hammer was supposed to be there. It's been stolen. What magic ha- mm -hmm. It's the smithy! He 
He's heading for that village. No, you can't defeat him without the magic hammer. What if we don't believe you? Disaster. Only one other person knows of the hammer. The old fisherman. He must have it. We can't go on believing him, Dirk. Look down there. We have no choice. We've come this far. Take us to the fisherman. There's something really weird about that guy. What's this? A smithy. Visitors. Strangers. But the old one, I know him well. Row me home, old boys. It's time to right an ancient wrong. Delay the old fisherman while I find the hammer. Better do it. What else could go wrong? You two stay here. He's up to something. Yes, and we're going to find out what it is. You don't know what you're doing. Let me go. Give me a good reason. Your companion seeks the magic hammer. Is that reason enough? Ooh. You know about that? I know a lot. And it's time you learned a thing or two. Uh, pretty strong for an old man. Yes. And so is that evil old man with you. I am Dagda. And he is Morigu. The sorcerers? Oh, no! Daphne and Tim are in danger. Watch yourself, knight. Morigo has turned evil. He wants the hammer so he can control the smithy. I'll give him the hammer, all right. The hammer's gone. The princess, Tim, they're gone too. <laughs> Daphne and Tim went after Moragu. We must hurry. By the dragon's teeth, I won't lose this time. That sword is useless. We must get the magic hammer. Morigo can only be defeated by his own magic. I still can't believe Bertram ran away like that. He'll be back with Sir Dirk. Look, it's Walker. Come on, Timothy. We'll teach that walker to fool with us. Yeah, well, well, I do feel kind of foolish. The strange man had indeed fooled our heroes. Daphne and Timothy still don't know that the man they call Walker is really the ancient evil sorcerer, Morigo. Oh, there he... Oof! Morigo needed Dirk, a noble human knight, to bring the magical weapons back to life. Now he needs only the smithy's power. Smithy, human of old, now demon of bronze and gold. Return to me, answer my call. With your power, I shall rule all. Think again, Walker. We've got the hammer. We do? Oh, yeah, we do. You are foolish. You are too late. The smithy comes to my call. Help! Somebody help! Oh. Return to me. To me. Wait in those bushes, Bertram. We'll be right back. Remember, Knight, I can do nothing. Morigo must be defeated by his own magic. That seems fair. Give the hammer to me. It is my creation. 
Come and get your stupid hammer. Ooh. Ooh. May I have my hammer, please? Not while there's a breath left in my body. D don't say that. The smithy will be here soon. And Dirk the Daring is already here. Danda, you old fool. You always were good at name-calling, Morrigan. It's the end for you. The smithy comes. Oh, oh, I have done all I can. You are on your own, Sir Dirk. Dirk is indeed on his own. Faced by the evil Morrigo on the one hand, and by the magical armor and weapons on the other. With the powerful beast, the smithy, closing in, what would you do? If Dirk simply attacked Morigu, this would have happened. Your sword cannot harm me. Huh? Dirk couldn't fight Morigu that way. He couldn't fight the smithy, not with his sword. But could he battle the magic weapons? Like this? Oh, no! That was not the way either. Dirk, however, remembered what Dagda has said. A sorcerer could only be defeated by his own magic. Come on, Morigu, make your attack. Dirk, look out! No! no! Defeated by his own magic. So dark. He's the best there is. And boy, am I glad. <laughs> oh, Dirk, you did it! I wasn't worried for a minute. Look, the magic armor! I guess the armor isn't magical anymore. Perhaps not, Sir Dirk, but it is still the finest armor ever made. And now, if you don't mind, this old sorcerer would like to return to his fishing. Sorcerers sure are funny people. Oh, I say, it is lovely. Where on earth did you get it? Well, we, uh... See, there was this old guy named Walker, and, uh... Oh, it's just something we dug up, Father. Well, it's perfect. Now I can go on my royal tour of the kingdom. Hmm, a bit big, sire. Perhaps we should have it cut down. Nonsense! I can just grow into it. And thus... Did Dirk the Daring brave the ancient magic to make the smithy's haunted armor fit for a king?
come to grace the land of Ethelred's kingdom. From far and near, the king's subjects gather together in celebration of the most wonderful season of all. Step lively, Bertram. Mayor Rook, Gelda, all of Avalon's expecting us. Bring me the mayor's daughter, Gelda. Turning these peasants to stone will make her talk. Let me go, you old witch. The only place you're going, dearie, is to the pool of youth. Take me to it now. And have you regained your full evil powers? Never. Look about you, Gelda. These are the last of your people. The others I have turned to stone. Do you want the rest to share their fate? No. Then tell me where to find the pool of you. She'll gain a hundred times the power she's got now. Don't kill her! Don't say! Shh! I, I can't! You little fool! You've earned my wrath! Like springs hit everywhere except the road to Avalon. What's that? Jer, could you help me move it? <gasps> Put me down, you oversized paperweight! I'll save you, princess. Daphne. Don't you recognize your old friend? Mayor Rook? The very same. I was turned to stone by that evil old witch, Barala. She took over Avalon and put a sleeping spell on my daughter, Geld. The wicked banshee. Fear not, Mayor. I'll put a stop to this old hag and save Gelda, too. Wait, we can't leave Mayor Rook like this. Don't worry. Save the pool of youth, and you'll save me. Let's get that old witch before it's too late. <laughs> Sir Dirk, look. <laughs> Escape if you take a left, Bert. Then again. Uh, quick, everybody! Climb up the cliff! Safe for now. Guess again, jerk. Those rocks don't know when to quit. I guess those fiends were Borala's handiwork. Perhaps, but we made short work of them, huh, Tim? And managed to reach Avalon at the same time. We're too late. The town, it's ruined. And Borala's turned everyone to stone. Borala? You were expecting maybe the Tooth Fairy? Release these people from your spell, witch. You'd better get used to my statue's night. All of you will be joining them. <laughs> Even I could do better than that. Curses! Growing old weakened my magic. 
But we'll meet again, pests, once I find the pool of you. Aw, oh, forget that old windbag. Let's look for Gelda. is celebrating her 2,000th birthday. <laughs> there's no, nobody here. No, there's somebody here. He's kind of cute. <laughs> cute and rude. One little creature couldn't have made this whole mess. How about a hundred? Dragon's teeth! Get off him, you ugly toads! Well, uh, Rose. Oh no! Those goblins are getting bigger! <laughs> you head for the door! I'll take care of the blue twerps! Now I'm really mad! Thank you, Princess. <laughs> now let's find Gelda! Something tells me this isn't a pleasure boat. I wish you hadn't said that, Tim. Hold on tight. I'm going to try and steer this thing. You'd better get this crate landed a waterfall! Quick, Daphne, give me your sash. Well, I never said that rescuing Gelda would be easy. Neither did Bertram. <laughs> I wonder what kind of fun's in store for us here. There's another light up ahead. Let's head toward it. Maybe we'll find Gelda. Gelda's that way, I'm sure. Must be Gelda. Oh, she's beautiful. Tim, you distract the Shadbox. Bert and I will charge in and rescue Gelda. There goes our sneak attack. Out of my way, beasts! He didn't really mean beasts. Dirk, the door is closing. Gelda will be trapped. There are too many Shadmarks. 
and the vault doors nearly closed. Should Dirk fight the fierce Shadmox, or should he try to save Gelda before the iron door closes, locking her in forever? Is there enough time for Dirk to do both? What would you do? fought the Shadnox, he'd have lost his chance to get inside the chamber. Oh, no! Fortunately, Dirk had the help of his loyal friends. Tally-ho! Quick! These poisonous toadstools will keep them away! This is Gelda. She's beautiful. Gelda. Gelda. Wake up, girl. It's no good. Barala's spell is too powerful. Maybe I could wake her with a kiss. You have to be a knight for that to work. <gasps> This is no time for a nap, Gelda. No, Dirk. The Sandman's a magical creature who lives by Lake Rama. He's made out of magic sand that can counteract the powers of the Pool of Youth in case Barala gets there first. I'll go ask for the Sandman's help while you guard the pool, Sir Dirk. Wait, Gelda. Don't go by yourself. I'll come along and protect you. must have been some city. Nice spot for a magical pool. Wow! Hello? Is anyone there? Oh, Dirk, it's the pool of youth. The water's so soft and cool. I wonder if it really makes people... young. Knight in shining armor. <laughs> you are not. I can prove it. See, I can fight the biggest dragon ever. <laughs> I'm a pretty the biggest sand castle I've ever seen. I hope the Sandman's home. We've come for your help against Birala. 
Your magic sand might keep Barala from using the Pool of Youth. I'm just a poor old sandman. Not fast enough to chase that hag. Climb into this bag, sir. I'll carry you to the pool myself. All right. I'll help you. Thank you, Sandman. Thanks, sir. Commander, get rid of those pests. That's the way to play tag. You want to play? You're it. treat in store for you, Knight. You haven't won yet. Oh, no? My power's increased a hundred times. Now, Dirk must make a decision. He must defeat Barella, but how? How would you do it? If Dirk had attacked Barella and her guards directly, this would have happened. Tally-ho! Foolish Knight. <laughs> Fortunately, Dirk stayed put and used brains and Daphne's mirror instead of brawn. Youth hasn't done much for your looks, Hag. Oh, I'll give you a lesson in manners you'll never forget. <laughs> Sorry, I never fight anyone five centuries older than myself. I still have enough magic to take care of you, Dirk the Dumb. Here, Barala, I think this is yours. No, no. Ah! Well, Barala finally got what she wanted. How so? She doesn't have to worry about getting old. By the dragon's teeth, this is a powerful pool. We'll keep it as our secret, so no one will try to abuse it again. <laughs> How can I ever thank you? You've saved my village and given me back my daughter. All in a day's work for a night. Tim's got a special surprise for the town, Father. A present for the town of Avalon in memory of its villagers' brave struggle. <laughs> Very funny, my boy. I wish you'd stay in Avalon as our own personal knight. I'd love to. But I have to learn how to be a knight first. Don't worry, Gelda. We'll bring Tim back for a visit next spring. 
I'll be waiting. Springtime is a time of youth, even for an old witch. But thanks to Dirk, Birala will never worry about growing old again. Forest shortcuts, crisscrossing King Ethelred's lands. Unfortunately, Singe, the terrible dragon, also knew those shortcuts. Look out! Give up! You can't escape! The only useless thing around here is that overgrown lizard. <laughs> That tree is not going to stop me. Maybe not, but something else will. That tar pit. You pay for this. Better luck next time, dragon. Fortunately, Dirk was lucky as well as clever. And luck was with our knight and his princess when they met old Alf. <laughs> This, uh, uh, must be the... I, I think... I think this, this is the place. Careful, he could be dangerous. Dangerous? Oh, oh, oh my, I... I haven't been dangerous for, uh, let's see, uh, years, <laughs> dozens, <laughs> hundreds, <laughs> long time. I don't think we've met. Oh, oh for, forgot my hat. Oh, I'm, uh, uh Al. Uh, yeah, Alfred. Yeah, 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 one of those. Yeah. Now, what did I come here for? Can I help? Uh, uh, yeah, help, that's it. <laughs> Are you an apprentice? An apprentice what? Uh, I'm a magician. <laughs> Getting old, don't you know? I need a, uh, uh, apprentice. Dirk, how exciting. I can be a magician. But you don't know anything about magic. Oh, it's all right here. It spells, you know. Langana. See, Dirk, it's easy. You just need to, well, uh, think magic. Say the special words and uh, I think, uh, I, I think that's all you do. Yeah, try another one, my dear. Ibn Fry Ach. Did I say it right? You, you said something right. Can we get down now? Nah, Ibn Ah! I did it! It really worked! Oh, you, you make a first-rate magician, my dear. But remember, magic takes practice. Yeah, lots of practice, Your Highness. Oops. Remember to, uh... uh, 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 uh. Practice? And practice she did. Every day for a whole week, she worked with the Book of Spells. She did very well for a beginner, but she was soon to learn that magic cannot be learned in one week. I'm really getting good at this. I'll say you are. I'm impressed. I think I'm ready. Ready? For what? It's all right here. I'll take care of that big lizard singe once and for all. I don't think a little 
lightning is going to bother Singe. It sure bothers me. No, silly. That's a sign my spell has worked. Yo-ho! Singe is our prisoner! <laughs> Who has done this to me? <laughs> I think he's been mad. You will never hold me here. What is done can be undone. Says you, Singe. He does have a point there. It will take more than spells from an amateur magician to defeat me. We'll see. Enjoy your stay, Singe. Princess Daphne had scored an impressive victory. But she forgot that Singe still had power. Power to call upon his evil creatures. <laughs> Bring me Princess Daphne's Book of Spells. You will find it in Ethelred's castle. Do it now! I say, very well done. It's wonderful to have a magician around the house. <laughs> Well, I'm not a magician yet. Oh, I say, you have done remarkably well. You'll make a fine, uh, 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 uh apprentice. Apprentice. I wouldn't stand quite so close, sire. No need for concern, knight. <laughs> I wouldn't waste my breath. I have better things in mind for you. Listen, Singe, I put you here and I'm going to keep you here. I will turn that magic against them. Come on there. Oh. What? Giddy goons? Here? Stop in the name of the king! There's no escape, goon! I'd better find the king and Daphne. Excellent! Now, gather all my forces and I will have my revenge. Nog Falon, Nog Corben, Narsim Gagalo! We've got to get that book of spells back before some I think it's already happened. What's going on? Earthquake? What the... Somebody doesn't want us to leave. I demand an explanation. I am your explanation. And you are now my prisoners. Singe! There must be a way out of here. We've got to get to Old Alf. I can't do anything without the book. Quick, make a rope out of those curtains. Bertram! Bertram! Get ready to pull! I sure hope this works. Jump, sire! Go 
on your mission. If I let keep an eye on things here, perhaps I should lose a bit of weight. To the forest, Bert. We've got to find Alf. But maybe Alf just should find us. Hmm. Singe didn't waste any time calling up his giddy goons. Or his m m mad men. We can't go back. Now what? Now what indeed? With giddy goons on one side and mud men on the other, what would you do? If Dirk had tried to charge through the giddy goons, this would have happened. It would not have been a pretty sight. And had Dirk made this choice, had he attacked the mud men, this would have happened. No, force was positively not the answer. Dirk had to be very clever. There's so many of them. We can't fight them all, Sir Dirk. We've got to get to Old Alf. Daphne, you and Bert stay here. Timothy, we need disguises. Timothy? Tim! Nobody wants to hurt a cute, defenseless little bush. Not exactly what I had in mind. On second thought... I never know what Dirk will come up with next. Remember, we get the mud men angry at the giddy goons, so they'll start fighting. Well, then we gotta sneak past them, right? I'll guard Princess Daphne. What am I doing here? Sir Dirk? But, of course. We'd better hurry and find old Alf. Yeah, b b before those monsters come after us. Are, are, are we there yet? Almost. The clearing is just ahead. Alf! Alf! Oof! I don't see him, Dirk. Maybe he doesn't remember how to get here. Did, uh, did, did someone, uh, call me? Oh, oh my! This isn't the right spot at all! Oh, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh! I can't look! Oh, there's nothing to be, uh, uh, worried about, my dear. There are certain advantages to being a, uh, ma magician, magician. And we're glad you are. Singe has the Book of Spells. Oh, no. And the king is his prisoner. Oh, no. You've got to get the book back. Oh, no. I mean, uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. <laughs> Without the book, I, I just can't remember the spells. You've got to try. Oh, very well. Book of spells. Now I'll John out. Oh, my. That's. That's not right at all. Uh, spell book. T roll out. Give up, fool! <laughs> it's no use. It's no use. Never mind that. We'll go and take the book away from Singe. We'll do what? Perfect. Now. Master of Castle Ethelred! Never! Not while I'm king! Look around you, your highness! I am king now! <laughs> My special pets! Now, bring me Durka! 
and the princess. <laughs> what? Dirk and the princess escaped. <laughs> on their road home. There, the rap's done. Is this really the best way home? Of course, look how fast the river runs. I noticed. Good lad, give me a hand. At least that waterfall's behind us. We'll be home before we know it! I think we'll be in trouble before we know it. Hmm, this is odd. Odd nothing! This is Singe's doing! I say, that dragon's rather talented. How? Oh, uh, uh sorry. Once we get the book, we'll, uh, we'll teach that dragon a lesson. What's going on? This is one of Singe's tricks. Do something else. It's no use. We must get the book. Yow! Look out for the waterfall. Or should I say water rise? Hang on, everybody. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> we made it. Sure, it could have been worse. Don't look now, but it is worse. We should go by land. Good idea, Dirk. Never did like the water myself. Now he says it. Come on, Singe is going to wish he'd never seen that book of spells. Our beautiful castle's ruined. Well, we'll just have to unruin it. We're here, Singe. Open up, if you dare. Sometimes I wish you weren't so brave. Welcome, honored guests. <laughs> Stay here. I'll deal with Cinch. certainly had his hands full. He had to retrieve the Book of Spells. But how? With the two giant giddy goons guarding the precious book and with Singe himself just beyond, how would you have done it? He could have attacked the giant goons. Yeah! <laughs> Uh-oh. Or he could have attacked Singe directly. Yeah! Though was a clever knight. It was the book he wanted, and the book he would get. Just passing through. No! Stop him! The game's over, Singe. Daphne! Tim! Catch! Oof! I sure hope they find the right spell soon. Oh my, my glasses, I, I can't see a thing. You have to do it. Is this it? I think, uh, uh I, I think so. You, you'll have to read me the words. Dragon, na arg, so guard, ibn tuk. Drehan, na arg, 
Snow God Ibn Tuck. We did it! <laughs> what did you do with Singe anyway? Is it Singe? Oh, I, I sent him home. <laughs> Him. We did? Oh, don't worry, my dear. We can try again some other time. <laughs> If I can find my glasses, you know. And thus ends the story of Old Alf, at least for now. Singe, of course, will want his revenge. But that's another story entirely. Upon a time, in the picturesque village of Tregenna, there stood a golden wind chime in the village square. These chimes were magical. When the north wind blew, the chimes sang softly, and the countryside remained lush and green. There were others in the land who wanted the chimes for their own evil purposes. will reward us handsomely for these chimes. <laughs> The wind is changing already. <laughs> Unusually hot for this time of year. Yes, there is definitely something wrong, Father. Sir Dirk, something needs to be done about the weather. Flowers are wilting, crops are dying. Yes, Your Highness, it's unseasonably hot. Travel to Epping Forest and find the old dwarf, Sidorak. He knows the wind and weather better than anyone else. Yes, sire, right away. Wait for me. Not this time, Daphne. Epping Forest is no place for a princess. Have you ever met Sisarek? Well, no, but I... Do you even know what he looks like? Well, no, I can't say that I do, but... Then it's settled. Let's go. There was indeed something wrong with the weather. Eurisk, an ancient evil creature, has the magic chimes. And with them, he controls the winds and changes the weather at will. The land will be a desert. All water will dry up and my fire creatures can roam the world. Amazing! 
This used to be so green and beautiful. I sure hope Scissorek can help. At least there are a few pretty flowers left. There's something funny about these cacti. I think we have company. What? Dirk, look out! Behind you! What do we do now? Hurry, Daphne! This way! My mother told me there'd be days like this. Dirk, I hope you have a plan. I hope he has a good plan. Don't worry, Daphne. I can handle this. Uh-oh. Steady, Dirk. Halt in the name of the king. ground. under control, didn't we? <coughs> Thanks for your help. I am Dirk the Daring. And this is Princess Daphne, daughter of... Princess, Princess Daphne! <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the protectors of Epping Forest? What were you expecting? Uh, well, uh, we're looking for Ciserek. Uh, do you know where he is? Cizarek sent us to find you. Uh, in that case, let's go. I'm the only one who can help you. And you're the only ones who can help me. Your risk of Mount Volmar has stolen the famous wind chimes of Tregenna. You must get them back. How? You must travel into the southern hills. Tregenna lies at the base of Mount Volmar. This can help you. What can a stick do that a sword can't? Dirk, it's a divining rod. We can find water with this, and water destroys fire. <laughs> this rod is magic. It will also attract water and propel it in another direction. <laughs> Here, this will protect you from your slava men and fire creatures. Lava men and fire creatures? Once inside Mount Volmar, cast this magical powder into the lava pool. When you need water, this map will help you find an underground spring in Tregenna. Go now, before Urist turns the world into a hot desert. I don't like the looks of that place. The streams and lakes are already dried up. That used to be Tregenna. We'd better rest a moment. I'm going to try the divining rod. Well, please don't go too far. What do we do next? We'll head for Tregenna and find the wind chimes. A 
Ask Devil. Sir Dirk, lava men, fire creatures, they're headed right for Princess Daphne. What should Dirk do? He must rescue Daphne before the dust devil, the lava men, and the fire creatures reach her. But how can he stop them all? Oh, Dirk, could you come here for a minute? Daphne is in definite peril. What would you do? you choose? Had Dirk chosen to attack the Dust Devil, this would have happened. Yeah! Had Dirk attacked the Lava Men, this would have happened. Dirk, however, knew what Daphne's divining rod could do. Daphne, use the divining rod! Here goes! This ought to cool you off! Daphne, look out! streams of Tregella have dried up. We are free now. Free, oh, free, oh, Garrus, 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 Garrus! The entire land will soon be ours. Forward! There it is. Take it. This was once a beautiful village. You'd never know it now. We've got to get those chimes back before the whole kingdom looks like this. <laughs> Yorisk isn't going to get away with this. Not if we have anything to do with it. I can't understand where all the villagers have gone. Pretty, pretty, <laughs> Lizras, rich. <laughs> Intruders, bring them to me. Cicerix's map says the underground spring should be right here. I hope so. We'll need plenty of water once we reach Mount Volmar. Are you sure this is the right place? It must be! Not now, Bertram! Whoa! Is anything wrong? No, Dirk, just keep digging. What is it, Bertram? Lava men!
What is it, Bert? Why did you bring me back here? What is it, Bert? A trap door. Clever boy. Where does it lead? I don't know, but I get a feeling that this is where the villagers are hiding. Or were they trapped? Hello? Anybody there? Stay here with the princess. Yuck! Hmm. It's just us. We thought you might want some company. Sir Dirk, behind you! Good work, Dirk. It looks like they came from down there. Then that's where we want to go. We do. sent someone to save you. <laughs> Silly humans. You risk is your king now. <laughs> Who goes there? It is I, Dirk the Daring. I have come to free these people. You'll never beat your risk. the chimes. You'll never get any information out of me. Yeah! Off! Yeah! Off! Have you changed your mind yet? Yes! Yes! I'll talk! I'll talk! Yeah! Talk, beast. Path up Mount Volma. Follow it to an air vent. Inside, the chimes will be. You're not going to leave me here, are you? You're going to leave me here! The humans, they are going after my wind chime. Hurry, carry me back to the volcano! Both know what to do, right? Yes! Okay, let's go. Huh? Come on! Isn't this exciting? Exciting? Oh yeah, sure. Visitors, bring them to me. I'm going to need a long holiday. The creatures outnumber Dirk 100 to 1. How can he stop them? Can he use his sword? The magic shield? Water? Scissorex magic powder? What would you do? Had Dirk taken the direct approach, he wouldn't have gotten very far. Dirk the Daring 
knew that there was a better way to use the tools at hand. Scissorex said to sprinkle the powder on the shield. This better work. You, you cannot defeat me. And thus ends the tale of how Dirk regained the magical wind chimes and foiled Eurisk's evil plan to turn the kingdom into a fiery desert. of Ethelred's realm lies a small village known as Crewswood. The villagers are happily preparing to celebrate an event that happened a long time ago when these gentle people were freed from an evil spell. This is where our story really begins. Sibylla, the bird woman, wanted Crowswood as a haven for herself and her evil winged creatures. With her red hypnotic gaze, she could enchant anything on two legs. At first, it looked as if the village was doomed. But then, Orlanth, Crowswood's wise old wizard, whose powers equaled Sibylla's, came to their defense. Orlanth knew the Griffin Stone at the tip of Sibylla's staff contained much of her power. Only a wizard's power could wrench that stone away from Sibylla and return it to the Griffin, its rightful owner. With this done, Orlanth turned his attention to Sibylla. Using his last bit of energy, the old wizard banished her to a stone fortress where she must stay for the rest of her life. I will have revenge! Someday! People of Crowswood never forgot Orlanth's courage. And each year, they hold this festival in his honor. This is the best royal duty we've had in a long time. What more could we ask for? Master Dirk, I have a bad feeling about Crowswood. It must be your imagination. <laughs> Sibylla has been impatiently waiting for a chance to escape her prison. But she needs the Griffin Stone. Where is that raven? Because the stone is protected by the fierce Griffin, only a very brave and daring knight can retrieve it. So, the princess has finally arrived with Dirk the Daring. 
Then bring me the peasant girl, Bronwyn. Princess Daphne. Look at her. We'll use her to get rid of the princess and make Dirk do our bidding. Be off! And be quick! Tie my dress, Grandmother. I don't want to miss Princess Daphne's arrival. How do I look, Father? You look pretty enough to be Princess Daphne. Oh, if only I were a princess. I can't wait to see what she looks like. Get the Griffin Stone and help Sibylla escape. Now, with this brooch, you are under my spell, and nothing can break this enchantment. Ah, the simple life. I wonder what it would be like to live here. My name's Bronwyn, Your Highness. When Dirk and Timothy see you, they won't believe it. I bet they can't tell us apart. Hmm, I have an idea. I could help you play a little joke on Sir Dirk. Yes, we'll trade places and see if he notices. It would be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> I can't wait to see Dirk's face. Princess Daphne! Princess Daphne, where, where are you? I just knew there'd be an adventure waiting for me in Crowswood. Dirk's the best knight there ever was. Yes, best and bravest. Uh, a Princess Daphne? What is it, Squire? Uh, squire? Oh, never mind. Dirk is completely fooled. Bronwyn's really convincing. Bronwyn! Bronwyn! Daughter, it's time for you to come home now. Yes, Father. <laughs> we'll see how long it takes Dirk to notice. What's the matter with Rosemary? Of this. It's Sibylla the Bird Woman. I heard about her in the village. But she's in prison. How could that be? Let's find Rosemary. I'll tell you along the way. Lead the way. <laughs> The daring is on his way, and nothing can spoil my plan now. There's no sign of Rosemary. We need the Griffin Stone, and we must hurry. Daphne, how will the stone help us find Rosemary? The birds were sent by Sibylla. I know it. And if we don't stop her, who will? Then we'll get the stone. If it is Sibylla, she must be stopped once and for all. Dirk doesn't know he's in danger. And he has no idea that Bronwyn's plan is a trick 
to free Sibylla. Daphne, meanwhile, has troubles of a different kind. How about a little cooperation here? This is your princess speaking. I command you to put the milk in the bucket. Oh, I think it's time to find Bronwyn. I've had enough of the simple life. I know, Bertram. This is not our everyday quest. But we've got to stop Sibylla and find Rosemary. We're close to the Griffin Stone. I can feel it. Yeah, I can feel it too. And it doesn't feel good. Don't these creatures ever give up? Sibylla's creatures won't give up until they have driven Dirk right to the Griffin Stone. There it is, the Griffin Stone. And there's the Griffin. Yes, I know, Bertram. We've got to do something about these birds. Dirk, get the stone. It's the only thing that will stop Sibylla's birds. Yow! But what about them? Yes, we're definitely in trouble, Bert. Hurry, get the stone. So, this is Dirk's dilemma. Dirk must get the stone, or so he believes. He not only has to find a way to snatch it away from the griffin, but he has to get past those hungry reptiles. And no matter what, they have to get rid of those bird creatures. If you were in Dirk's boots, what would you do? What should Dirk do? Their path is blocked by the bird creatures. Dirk could try to cross the pond on the backs of the reptiles, but... Whoa! This would have happened. Or Dirk could have chosen to swing across the pond. Yeah! By swinging across the pond, Dirk could avoid the reptiles but this would have been his fate. But Dirk had another idea. These reeds will help me breathe. could use her trusty horse as well. You stubborn mule! Move! Oh, wait till I find Bronwyn!
doesn't look good. Where's a brave knight when you need him? Rosemary! I'm so glad to see you. But where's Dirk? In trouble? That's what I thought. Let's go! We got to find Dirk before those winged creatures come back. Yes, I see, Rosemary. I'm Princess Daphne. Please help me. Oh, my, my princess, is it? And I see you're wearing your finest clothes, Your Majesty. Please believe me. An evil raven and weak snakes have attacked me. I don't see no raven or snakes either. <laughs> <laughs> what an imagination the girl's got. A princess, invisible birds, and flying snakes. <laughs> We better do something. Now, Rosemary. Stone will free Sibylla instead of destroy her. Uh-oh. We'll catch her before she gets to Sibylla. Oh, no. Gone, indeed. Bronwyn had already arrived at Sibylla's prison. Sibylla's prison. We may be closer than we think. Sibylla! She's heading towards Crow's Wood! Hurry, Bert! Soon you will all be under my control again. You won't get away with this, Sibylla. That's my daughter. 
Nothing can stop me now. Except me. Hand over the stone, Sibylla. Don't look into her eyes. She can control anything on two legs. Run! Find them! Get them! Dirk, what are we going to do? We've got to destroy the stone. Indeed, what could Dirk do with the raven and its army of winged creatures above him? And Sibylla's hypnotic red gaze in front of him. What would you have done? If Dirk had continued to battle the birds, this would have happened. A soaring experience for sure. Dirk could have chosen to attack the raven, whose magic controlled the winged creatures. But this decision would have put Dirk in Sibylla's path. There was another way. Quick, I need a blindfold. Are you sure this is going to work? It's up to you, old friend. Dirk knew the only way to stop Sibylla and the raven was to destroy the griffin stone. You will not escape my gaze! This can't be! Your gaze only affects creatures on two legs, Sibylla. He's got four, and I can't see you! You did it, Dirk! Oh, well, uh, thank you, Daphne. <laughs> but I can't take all the credit. <laughs> Thank you, Princess Daphne, Sir Dirk. Rosewood will forever be free, and my daughter is safe again. I'm very sorry. If it weren't for you, we would never have known about Sibylla. Daphne! <laughs> We're ready to go home. I'm ready. Daphne? Daphne's little masquerade did have a happy ending once Sibylla was defeated. Being a simple girl from Crowswood had its pleasures as well as its drawbacks. And Daphne enjoyed just being herself, the princess, most of all. begins in a peaceful fishing village with Dirk the Daring on routine patrol. You'd never guess that it was here that the course of history was almost changed, that Dirk's brilliant career was almost ruined by that crafty dragon, Singe. You've had it this time, goons. Goon, you'll have to do better than that. <laughs> Drop that treasure chest, thieves. <laughs> oh. 
All they got was an old mirror. I'd better get this chest back to the village. No giddy goons can outsmart me. Oh, you outsmarted Dirk the Daring. The magic mirror is mine. And now, I will rid myself of Dirk once and for all. <laughs> Out of my way! Hold up the mirror so I can look into it. <sighs> That's better. All I have to do is look into the mirror and think. With the mirror's magic, whatever I think of, I can become. Singe has come up with his sneakiest plan yet. Can you imagine all the trouble Singe would cause if he looked like Dirk? Well, that was exactly Singe's idea. <laughs> and now to put my plan to work. Huh? Not Dirk! No more mistakes. By the time I'm done, the entire kingdom will think Dirk is evil. He'll be out of my way for good. Are you coming or not? <laughs> Singe's nasty plan was ready to unfold. Poor Dirk continued on patrol, unaware of what was about to happen. <laughs> Maybe we'll find some excitement in this village. Excitement indeed. Lurking in the far side of the village was none other than Singe. <laughs> what a nice, peaceful village. It's time to demonstrate just how nasty Dirk the Daring can be. No! No, stop! What? What's going on? Help! He... Ooh, out of my way, peasant! <laughs> is a villain! Good! Good! <laughs> Tell the whole world! <laughs> There's our next stop. The place is kind of messy. We should help them clean up. There must be some kind of monster here. Run for your lives! Help! Yeah! Help! Wait, what's going on here? Help! You, you monster! Uh, I am? You destroyed our village! I did? Everywhere Dirk went, it was the same. In the villages and on the roadways. Ordinary people ran for their lives at the mere sight of Dirk the Daring. Even the big towns with their stone walls were no longer safe from the evil, destructive dragon with Dirk's face. Singer's evil plan was working. The people of Ethelred's kingdom were afraid at first, but their fear soon turned to anger. Dirk had to do something, but what? Nobody seems to like me anymore, Bert. If I disguise myself, maybe we can find out what's going on. While Dirk and Bertram are trying to figure out what's going on, bad news has already reached King Ethelred's castle. 
I can't believe Sir Dirk would do such terrible things. This is preposterous! And right before the great fair, too! Tis true, sire. I always knew Dirk was a bad apple. You're not exactly apple pie, Sir Blunt. Quiet, please. Let me think. We've got to capture him, sire. You're wrong. I know it. Splunt, Timothy and I will get to the bottom of this. You must issue a warrant for Dirk's arrest. Very well. We can get some rest here. You mean we can get some information here? Look at this! Wanted Dirk the Daring! You better find him before someone else does. Daphne, Tim, I've got to talk to them somehow. Keeper, some fresh water, please. Psst, it's me. Yeah, we know it's you. We called you over here. I sure would like to get my hands on that villainous Dirk. He must have been the one who stole the magic mirror. Right. It wasn't in the treasure chest when we got it back. So that's it. It's Singe. Innkeeper, these glasses are empty. How about a little service here? Dirk! Uh, yes, I am. It's Sorry. Come on, let's get out of here. Bertram. I think we're being followed. Let's go, Rosemary! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Where are we going? To find Singe. He used the magic mirror to masquerade as me. Dirk, I know how to make Singe find us. This is a really good idea, Daphne. I can't wait to see the look on Singe's face. Singe might get a bit suspicious if he sees your face. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, do you think Singe will fall for it? He won't be able to resist attacking us. That's what I was afraid of. Don't worry. By the time he realizes I'm here, it'll be too late. Ah! Oh, a royal coach. Quiet! When the king hears that Dirk has attacked a royal coach. That will be the end of our daring night. <laughs> Whoa, Bertram! Whoa, Rosemary! Sir Dirk! Yes? Hmm. He does sort of look like me. <laughs> That's the idea, fool. Since we are all alone, I will deal with you in my own dragon form. With dense brambles all around, and with sin right in front, what would you have done? What did you decide? The road was too narrow simply to turn the coach around. And if Dirk had tried to go around Singe, this would have happened. That way, Tim. Whatever you say, Sir Dirk. Uh-oh. They could have made a run for it on foot, but instead, Dirk chose to confront Singe directly. And this is what came of it. All right, Singe, you've caused enough trouble. Wait for me! So, you like my little masquerade? Get them! Dirk, look out! Whoa! Oh, oh, we're, we're trapped! We're trapped! Look out! 
I could do away with you right now, but my plan is so much more interesting. them to my dark castle, but hold them only until after the great fair. By the time I am through, <laughs> the people themselves will run dark out of the kingdom. S sounds like a pretty good plan. You'll get yours, Singe. <laughs> and so I shall. Well, Singe. Disguised as Dirk, headed off to the Great Fair. Could it be done? Could Singe fool the king and all his people into believing that Dirk was a villain? And what could Dirk do about it, imprisoned as he was in Singe's dark castle? Don't worry, Princess. Sir Dirk has a plan. Don't you? Shh. Of course I have a plan. Those dumb goons forgot to take my sword. Are you planning on using it? Soon. We've got to find the magic mirror. Then deal with Singe. Hey, quit shoving! What was that plan again? First things first, Tim. Just about got it. Hey, goons! Got something special to show you. You have to open the door, dummy. What part of the plan is this? <laughs> uh, Dirk, I think you should see this. I don't have to look, do I? You know I don't like heights. Hmm, we are pretty high. We've got a dragon to catch. Let's go! I count to three, jump. One, two, three! That was kind of fun. Yeah, fun. Wow, I've never seen anything like this. And there's the magic mirror. That's what Singe used so he could look like me. Let's grab it and go! Giddy goos! was a festive event for the whole kingdom, but not for King Ethelred, not that year. Dirk, here? <laughs> what is the meaning of this? 
Ask me no questions. I'll tell you no lies. You really have become evil. Yes. Now, Ethelred, turn your kingdom over to me. Never! I'll fight you myself first! Hmm. That would be fun. Very well, old man. Get ready! We're almost there. I hope that dragon hasn't hurt father. Don't worry. I'll handle Singe. Oh, Ethelred, where are you? Here I am, knave. I'll teach you to terrorize my kingdom. I forgot my sword. Excuses, excuses. is right here. Surprise. Dark. Dark indeed. But what was his plan? Now, I will finish you myself. No, that was plainly no good at all. Dirk knew he had to expose Singe for the dragon he really was. That was the only way that Dirk could reclaim his honor. Oh, no! Look! What? Look into the mirror. Think of dragons. Think, Singe. Think of what a handsome dragon you are. <laughs> This. Get him, my boy! Get him! I've got him! I've got him! Dirk, quick! This way! Hurry! <laughs> Look out, Princess! So long, Singe! I'll get you for this! I can't swim! Just stay in the wagon. You'll be fine. Well done, my boy. We'll never doubt you again. And I never doubted you at all. Uh, uh, neither did I. You know, there are two morals to this story. Never doubt your real friends. And, oh yes, even dragons should learn how to swim.
once upon a time in the dark forest of Skuld, a forest inhabited by all manner of deadly creatures, Dirk the Daring decided to find and explore the legendary ruins hidden there. But little did he know he was about to embark on a strange and very cold journey. They're gaining on us! Hurry! Keep going! Faster! Why did you stop? Dirk the Daring never runs from a fight. But Squire Timothy might. That takes care of them. I don't think so. Uh oh. Quick, Bart, this way. For a minute, I thought we'd had it. Well, now we can go home, right? Sorry, Jim. I want to find that old ruin. Those bats might have helped us after all. Come on! Why are we stopping here, Master Dirk? My nose smells treasure, Tim. Are you sure it's not last night's supper? I spilled some on my tunic. Aha! Did you find something, sir? Yes, come here. What is that? It's a marker. Somewhere near here, there must be an entrance. It looks more like a warning against trespassers to me. Where's your sense of adventure? I found it! You and Bertram wait outside. I'll be right back. Yuck. Hello? Anybody here? What a mess. Nobody's been here for a hundred years. Ethelred will be interested in this stuff. What's this? Who's disturbed my neat orderly hall? So, they found my blue flory. No bother. anyway. <laughs> what is the meaning of this, Dirk? <coughs> well, you see, Timothy and I were riding through Skold Forest and we... Sounds exciting. The point, Sir Jack. Please get to the point. Uh, the point. Uh, yes. Well, the point is, Your Highness, that I have here a strange blue liquid that will turn fire into ice. 
turn fire into ice, you say? Nonsense. No, it's true. Look, I'll show you. I'm impressed. Yes, impressive. But I'm not sure how we can use it. Where did that chill come from? The chilly breeze came from the Valerian Mountains, home of the evil Snow Witch. What news do you bring to me, Scracker? Yes, I suppose you're right. What is this? This is all that we have. I want all of it, every last drop, or I will bury your kingdom in snow and sleet. Really, this is all we have. Enough. I am taking your father and his knight with me. Deliver all of the blue liquid to me by tomorrow. <laughs> or they will join the ranks of my ice creatures. Timothy knows where Dirk found that stuff. He's my only hope. I don't know about you, Bertie, but if I never see Skull Forest again, it'll be too soon. <laughs> Timothy! She took my father and Dirk! Who? The Snow Witch! The Snow Witch? We need to get more of that blue stuff or she'll turn them into ice monsters! Well then, we better get going! <laughs> Almost free, Your Highness! Just a little more. Well, hurry up. If we stay here much longer, we'll catch our death of cold. There. How do we get out of here? Up those stairs. Just a few more steps. <laughs> we'll try this door. Uh-oh. Uh, wrong door. 
door. This is preposterous! Good show, Duck! Thank you, sir. I think we should hurry. Right you are! What should Dirk do? He and King Ethelred must escape. But should he chance blindly opening more doors? Or should he fight the ice monsters? If you were Dirk, what would you have done? Had Dirk chosen to attack the ice monsters, this would have happened. Realized that if he did not defeat all three of the ice monsters, he would be jeopardizing King Ethelred's life. Let's try one of those doors down there, Your Majesty. Which one? Not this one. for one of your failures. What about the Snow Witch? Will you help us? Look, here's what I'll do. Salt! What good is salt? Don't you know anything? Out! I'll help you just this once. We'll visit that Snow Witch with plenty of salt. The prisoners have escaped! We must recapture them! A small avalanche will slow them down. It's exciting! Exciting? I feel like a prince again. Young, adventurous, in trouble. By the dragon's teeth! Look out! It's an avalanche! Hop up on my back, Your Highness! How do 
do we get to the Ice Palace now? <laughs> Dirk, my boy! Yes, Your Highness? I can't remember the last time I had this much fun. Uh, get ready for some more fun! What do you say? I'm still in pretty good shape, don't you think? Eh? I sure hope so. Look! There's my father and Dirk! And they're not ice monsters! Not yet, anyway. I, I know, Bertie. We must do something. Okay, alchemist, put your science to work. This might work. Yes, I think it will. Listen, both of you. I have a plan, but you must cooperate. Now, on the count of three, I want you to yodel. Yodel? Do you want to rescue the king or not? Yes! yes. Well, then, one, two, three. Yodel! We didn't bring any blue flory, but Ulrich here brought lots of salt. Hmm. Salt? G good idea. So, you're the young rascal who invaded my home. I didn't think anyone lived there. That's the trouble. You didn't think? Well, you'd better start thinking now. see you have brought me the blue liquid. No way! <gasps> Faced by the very angry Snow Witch. What? You defy me? And by her powerful ice monsters, Dirk could have simply attacked. But perhaps he saw another solution. Do you? Had Dirk attacked, this is what would have happened. <laughs> knows that Ulrich's salt will melt ice and snow. But how can he use it? Calm down. The blue foray is right here. I'll get it for you. Be quick about it. At last, now I have the power over all my enemies. Soon, this country will be covered in snow and ice. <laughs> Oops, uh, excuse me. No! Get them! Get them! Yeah! Huh? No! Pretty good, thanks to my salt solution. Dirk, that was wonderful! How did you know that would happen? Oh, uh, well, it was, uh... Science! Pure and simple science! <laughs> and thus, Dirk defeated the evil Snow Witch and saved the land from a very long, hard winter. All with a little cleverness and a lot of salt.
From the Isle of Narg, off the coast of Ethelred's kingdom, Lord Narg and his trolls prepared to wage war against the mainland. They knew that they needed an invincible war machine if they were to defeat the entire kingdom. And only the kind, wise, peaceful Havenwood dwellers could help. Lord Narg sent his trolls to Havenwood, their evil mission, to bring back supplies of the magic wood. A war machine built of the special magical Havenwood could never be beaten. Or could it? Wish to fight. I do not. But I do. Help! 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 Did you hear something? Someone's in trouble! There! someone your own size. <laughs> One down, two to go. Uh-oh. By the d d d dragon's teeth. Princess, that troll just destroyed Dirk's sword! Dirk, look out! Behind you! Oops! Here, use my Havenwood staff! Thanks! Sardak. How did you know my name? All of Havenwood remembers Dirk the Daring. Oh, well. And now your service is again needed. What? Yes, without the aid of Brave Knight, doomed we are. But how can I help? I have no sword. To Havenwood you come. Greybeard, new sword he make. This is exciting. Yeah, trolls are exciting, all right. Hmm, a new sword. Fighting trolls? Let's go. So, tell me more about your troubles with the trolls. had captured two Havenwood dwellers. They alone can use the Havenwood magic. Lord Narg certainly had planned his conquest carefully. Put those two with the others. We must finish by nightfall. Is there any way to stop the trolls and defeat the Havenwood war machine? 
Nag forced his captives to work their magic. While Havenwood itself prepared some magic that Lord Nag didn't know existed. Welcome, Sir Dirk. Help us, you will. Of course. Help is my business, Greybeard. A new sword. A special sword you will need. In your hands, Havenwood Sword can defeat Nag's war machine. <gasps> but what can I do with the wooden sword? Our ancient legends say that a magic lightning will make Havenwood into steel. Tonight, you must climb Talorc Peak and hold this sword for the lightning to strike. Then will the sword be strong enough to penetrate anything. approaches. Let them come. They'll be the first to witness the power of Lord Narg. Whoa! Sails real good, doesn't she, Tim? Mm -hmm. I wish I'd stayed with Virgil. Sail. I wasn't. We should drop anchor soon. Anchor's away, and not a moment too soon. Shortbeard and I will take the rowboat ashore. You and Timothy wait here until we get back. Oh, Dirk, do be careful. Ah! Dirk do. He must reach the top of Talorc Peak. But should he take a chance and fight the trolls? Or should he retreat to the boat and try another way? What would you do? If you were Dirk, what would you have done? Had Dirk chosen to retreat, this would have happened. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can go around that way. It would have worked, but Dirk chose to fight his way up the peak. Surrender, fool! That'll be the day. Not like this, anyway. Oh, Timothy, they've been captured! And Dirk dropped the Havenwood sword! What are we going to do? The only thing we can do, we're going over there to help Dirk. Come on, Tim, hurry! Keep it moving! Oh. Three. 
Hand me your staff and jump on my back. Understood, Sir Duck. No, Tucker. Get ready. One, two, three, now! What are we going to do now? Nothing. They'll never survive. The trolls have much to learn about magical Havenwood. For instance, it floats no matter how much weight it carries. You have done well. Now the land is ours for the taking! We sail at dawn! Move along! Tomorrow you'll witness the power of Lord Narg! Guard the war machine well! All is not what it seems. Dirk dropped the sword. Do you think Lord Narg found it? No, I don't think so. I wish we had one of those machines. Yeah! Oh. Are you sure this is where you dropped it? Yes, I'm positive. I found it. Dirk? Who goes there? It's us, silly. Of course. We better go. We're almost there. <laughs> wow! Amazing. Hmm. Nice sword. Very nice sword. Now let Narc see what Dirk the Daring can do. Say 
Hey, what goes on here? You, you're too late. Lord Narg has landed. We'll see about that. It's never too late. There's very little time. Lord Narg has landed on the mainland. Are you strong enough to row? We've got to catch him. Yes! Okay, Daphne, you take the tiller and steer us toward land. And the rest of us will row! Okay, ready? Heave, ho! Heave, ho! Heave, ho! Heave, ho! Heave, ho! Heave, ho! We've got work to do. Yeah. Oh, I missed you so much. Yeah. Soon the land will be ours. Not so fast, Narg. What? So you survived after all. Yes, and in the name of King Ethelred, I demand that you cease and desist. You demand! You demand nothing! Faced by overwhelming odds and Lord Narg's indestructible war machine, Dirk could have simply attacked. But perhaps he knows another solution. Do you? Had Dirk taken the direct approach, even with his powerful new sword, this would have happened. Yeah! But Dirk knows that his new sword can turn the war machine into a pile of sawdust if he can just keep the foot soldiers busy. This sword. You did it! I'm so proud of you both. Oh, uh, gee. All of Havenwood thanks you, Sir Dark. You are a true hero. Yeah! There were advantages to being a bold knight like Dirk. He was indeed a hero. Rescued the Havenwood dwellers and destroyed Narg's war machine. And he got himself a swell new sword.
This is the Black Hill of Ardu, once the home of an ancient race of evil giants. All the giants had gone by the time of Ethelred's reign. All the giants, that is, except one, the last of the Ardu giants. He'd been asleep for hundreds of years and would awake only if someone spoke his secret name. Large friend, soon you'll awake to do my bidding. Back off! Once the giant awakens, nothing can stop him. He'll tear Ethelred's castle down, stone by stone. I will speak his name again. He'll return to his slumber, and the kingdom will be mine. <laughs> Enough! Get out of sight. The time has come. <laughs> and now, my ancient friend, your name I speak. Awake! Ethelred's castle seek. Quedi? 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 Someone has spoken my name. The long slumber is over. Now to claim again the lands that were mine these long years ago. No, 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 that's not right at all. Try it again. I'll try again. Oh, I never knew anything could sound that awful. Poor teacher. Don't you think I'm getting better, Dirk? Uh, yes, well, uh, of course. <gasps> what, what was that? We'd better find out. All of you, and your puny little castle, get off my lands! By the dragon's teeth, it's a giant! Stop in the name of King Ethelred! Oops! King who? Now I've got you right where I want you. I'll deal with you first, then I'll tear your castle down! <laughs> That's what you think? <laughs> yeah! You can't escape me! Escape nothing. You want to fight? You've got one. Whoa! Hold still so I can squash you. Oh, sure. Anything for a friend. <laughs> Come on, giant. I'm ready for you. That puny sword won't help you. Guess I'm not as ready as I thought. Now I've got you. This really isn't a fair fight. <laughs> Boy, are you heavy. You'll pay for this. Think again, giant. I'll sacrifice myself to save the kingdom. All I have to do is let go of this tree. <laughs> All right, don't let go. I'll make a bargain with you. If you can survive a day and a night alone inside the Black Hill, I'll leave your kingdom forever. Sounds good. Hang on. Sure am glad I had a good breakfast. You don't have to go to the Black Hill if Harold can find the giant's name. Name? Yes, speak his name. Then he'll go back to sleep. Well, I can't. The name isn't here. It's an ancient secret. Well, it looks like I'm off to the Black Hill of Ardu. Not without me, you're not. All right, but only as far as the hill. I have to go in alone. What? I hadn't counted on this. 
That stupid giant made a bargain. Dirk is just lucky enough to survive inside the Black Hill, too. <laughs> Quiet! Get to the Black Hill. Make certain that Dirk does not survive. <laughs> Are you sure you want to go through with this, Sir Dirk? I'm worried about you, Dirk. I made a bargain. Now, get back to the castle and keep an eye on that giant. Wow! Look at that! See you in the morning. Oh, I get the feeling there's something really weird going on. <gasps> something like... Giddy Goons! Let's get out of here before they see us. Ouch! <laughs> Timothy! <laughs> Come on, Bertram! This isn't very comfortable, Bertie! This, right? And that means we have to go to Singe's castle, right? Singe must know the giant's name. We have to make him tell us. Yeah, sure. Hey, this place isn't so bad. I'll just find myself a quiet spot to spend the night. Daphne was all worried over nothing. Hmm, must be the night watchman. Yeah! Hmm. Yeah! I'll have to be more careful. Hmm. I didn't wake you. Uh oh. Dirk was really in a pickle. Thanks to Singer's giddy goons, he had crypt creeps in front of him and deadly black goo behind him. How would you have gotten out of it? What would you have done if you were Dirk? Attacking the nasty crypt creeps would have ended up this way. Yeah! Not exactly the wisest choice. Dirk could have tried a tactical retreat, but that meant getting past the nasty black goo. Uh -oh. That would have been a rather messy solution. Dirk, however, was pretty sharp. He had heard the giddy goons chuckling away behind the door. Did you figure out what Dirk decided to do? If I do 
say so myself. Hmm. I'm losing weight. That giant tricked me. I'd better find a way out of here fast. Yes, the giant tricked Dirk. The Black Hill itself was turning Dirk into a skeleton. By morning, there would be nothing left unless Daphne and Timothy could find out the giant's secret name. How are we gonna get Sims to tell us the giant's name? Shh, I have it all figured out. I could use one of these. Well, I, I guess he won't mind. Of course not. It's just an empty suit of armor. <laughs> Timothy, I told you to be quiet. No! Wait for me! This leads to Singe. That's what worries me. Yo! Oh, Princess, wait up! <laughs> if you don't be quiet, I'm going to send you home. Okay. By yourself. Well, well, I'll stay here and, uh, and protect you. Oh, no! So clumsy, Timothy. <laughs> Never mind. Let's go this way. Be careful, Tim. You don't have to tell me that. <laughs> this is it. We found it. The dragon's lair. Yeah. Now what? Oh, well, <laughs> this is as far as my plan went. There's got to be a way out of here. There was a way out, and Dirk had to find it before he turned to bones. Uh-oh. I better take the stairs. Uh, maybe I won't take the stairs. Singer's giddy goons once again, but how much longer could he last? Fortunately, Daphne had a new plan, sort of. Okay, get one of those lanterns. Well, here goes. Good going. Now, watch this. Do I have to? It's working quick. Make noises like a giant. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, what the? 
Gwydion, what are you doing here? We got it, Tim! We got the name! Yeah, and I think we're about to get something else, too! You're not the child! You're just a puny princess! Puny? Why, I'll have you know I... Yeah, I think we should leave now. After them! They know the giant's name! This way! There's a tunnel ahead! Well, maybe there's another way! No time! Away from Singe! Faster, idiots! Faster! Oh no! It's Singe! You won't escape me! Look, Tim! We're almost at the end! You can say that again! We can't stop this thing! Guess I finally got rid of those giddy goons. <sighs> Maybe this is the way out. Whoa! Whoa! Daphne! Timothy! Dirk! You look terrible! You really know how to make a night feel good. We've got to get you out of here. That's the only door I haven't tried. It must be the way out. For. Good boy, Bert. You're always there when I need you. <laughs> it's morning and no dirk. Time to claim my old lands. Hold on, giant. We had a bargain. Remember? You've got no bargain with me. Singe was right. He cheated everybody. With the giant on one side, and with Singe on the other, what could Dirk do? He knew he couldn't beat the giant, so he could have had a go at Singe. he -ya! But then again, maybe that wasn't the best plan. Dirk wisely decided to use his one real weapon, the giant's secret name. Quick, Daphne, say the name! No! Gwydion! Gwydion! Look, it worked! You've ruined everything! I say well done, my boy. Very well done to you all. We saved the kingdom, Dirk. Yes, we did. Thus was the kingdom saved. Daphne wrote down the secret name just in case that nasty giant ever returned. And that's how I happen to know the legend of the giant's name.
Our story begins with Sir Dirk and Sir Blunt on a very tricky mission to obtain the sword in Singer's gemstone. Located in the heart of the dragon's lair itself, the sword was magical. The only sword in the land that could harm Singe. With it, they were to rid the kingdom of the evil dragon. Singe, however, was a crafty dragon and not easily surprised. So, they want my sword, do they? We'll see about that. <laughs> now, what are you doing? Those two intruders don't find their way down here. Understand? <laughs> that should keep Dirk busy for a while. And no, dear Puck, we have some unfinished business. Oh, we do, do we? The mist of wishes, Puck. I want it. I could make things very uncomfortable for you. If you put it that way, newts and blind worms, cat or bear, big fat boar with bristled hair. I thought you said you'd been here before. Shh. Time. Quick, jump through the hole! me. What a swell place! The last ingredient! Give it to me! What do you suppose he's up to? I don't know, but here's the plan. We don't need a plan. We need action! Wait! We can't just... What? You don't... Oh, by the dragon's teeth. <laughs> <laughs> this is not fun anymore. <laughs> ah, yes. Happy now? You gonna let me go? Not until I have the power to wish for anything I want. I'll get that sword before Singe sees me. on one quest or another. <coughs> Dirk, where are you? Hey, yo, in the blue fog! Wish for something! What? Wish, wish for something to save us! Uh, 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 I wish, um, uh, that uh, Singe were as small as, uh, 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 as small as, uh, This is going to be fun! 
Who are you? I am Puck. Oh. You're going to be a player in my little game, but I'll give you some help. With this ring, you may be spared the folly of all that Blunt shall have dared. What a funny guy. I'd better get back to the castle. Your Highness, you will marvel at what I'm about to show you. Yes? Yes? What I have here will astound you and... Please, Sir Blunt, out with it. Very well. Behold! Singe! That's incredible! He's kind of cute like that. And now, I wish for a celebration to honor my heroic deed. <gasps> the fool Blunt doesn't realize the power he has. I'll use Blunt to help me take over Ethelred's kingdom. <laughs> Go! Prepare to ambush Dirk tomorrow at the Bridge of No Return. <laughs> As I said, or I'll fry you for breakfast. <laughs> now, to put Blunt to work for me. Blunt? <laughs> <laughs> Wish Singe back to his normal size. No, it's too dangerous. All right, then. Send a duck on a quest across the bridge of no return. Yes, yes, yes. Get rid of Turk. And you should be king. You deserve it. Yes. When you wake up, say, I wish I were king. That's all you have to do. <laughs> So far, so good. I'll go to that wretched bottle. Blunt will never suspect anything. <laughs> Singe may have become tiny, but he still had big, evil plans. Dirk really had problems this time. What a swell day! I wish I were king! <laughs> king Blunt, I have a proclamation that requires your signature. Here's your breakfast, your highness. <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> Excellent! What the...? <laughs> what are you doing with Singe? Just making sure he stays put, since no one was guarding him. Never mind that. I want you to go on a quest across the Bridge of No Return and bring me the Great Emerald Egg. You want me to do what? Sir Dirk, you shouldn't argue with the king. King? Blood's not the king. Silence! Start your quest! Come, Sir Dirk. Yes, Dirk. You must obey King Blunt. <laughs> this is cuckoo. Everyone thinks Blunt's the king but me. It's Puck's ring. Blunt's wishes didn't affect me. It's all your fault, Singe. <laughs> <laughs> 
Please, Sir Dirk, let's go. Dirk will soon meet his end. Dirk had a real mess on his hands, and it was getting more messy by the moment. Oh, why did you bring her along? Because she always comes along. It wouldn't be the same without her. Get it, goons! <laughs> Hang on, Daphne! Yo! <laughs> Let's get across that bridge. Hmm. Sir Dirk, look! Giddy goons! I knew Singe was behind this. Look! Uh-oh. Singe had set some trap. It wouldn't take those giddy goons long to gnaw through the rope. How would you have gotten out of this one? If you were Dirk, what would you have done? This is it, Bertie. Had Dirk chosen to charge straight for either end of the bridge, this would have happened. Charge! Uh-oh. Yeah! Fortunately, Dirk opted for something a little less direct. Yeah. Grab hold of the rope. What? I'm going to cut the rope. Hang on! Yeah! can mean only one thing, Singe. Singe? Yes, Singe must be tricking Blunt into doing his dirty work. I must find Puck. He made this mess, and he's going to clean it up. He's got to be here somewhere by the dragon's teeth. <laughs> oh, look out! <laughs> there he is. Let's go. Puck, we need your help. I thought you might. What can I do for you? It's that mist of wishes and blunt. Don't tell me. He's misusing the power, right? Then we must take it away from him. Right, but how? I mix up a new mist, he breathes it again, and all will be as it was. Yeah, as what was? Never mind. Just do what I say and everything will be fine. Let's go. Singe's giddy goons are waiting for us. We must find another way into the castle. I know a secret underground passageway that leads straight to the king's throne room. Well, lead on. It sure looks damp and dark. It's the only way in, Tim. Follow me! Rats! Rats! before they wake up. Good idea.
advice has been very helpful, Singe. What in the name of... Oomph! Oomph! It's that fool, Dirk! Wish him away, quickly! Dirk, I wish you away from here! You wish? It's not working! I, I don't understand! That ring protects him. You must get it. Guards! Guards! I want Dirk's ring! Oh, oh, no! Oh, you can't! Oh, I don't have that. Sir Dirk, wait for us! Here, Dirk! Here, Dirk! Sir Dirk, where are you? I'm down here! Don't you know a night when you see one? We've got to trick Blunt into breathing the mist of wishes. So, here's my plan. That should do it! Let's pay our wonderful king a visit. have let Dirk escape. Don't worry, I can handle Dirk. Shh, quietly. Hey, there they are. Let's get them. Matt? Dirk had to get close to Blunt with the mist of wishes, but that is easier said than done. How would you have done it? Had Dirk taken the direct approach, this would have happened. Gotcha! Hey, let me out of here! You can't do this to me! But Dirk realized that there are certain advantages to being a frog. One of which is that it's tough to tell one frog from another. One of them has to be Dirk! Remember the plan. <laughs> huh? You fool, Blunt! You let them trick you! Here's your chance to make up for all the trouble, Blunt. Let's get him! <laughs> Give it up, Singe! You're outnumbered! Never! I hate it when he does that. By the dragon's teeth! I'll be back! You haven't seen the last of me! Goodbye! Next time, Puck. No practical jokes. Well, that was fun! What sort of game can I play next? <laughs> and so ends the tale of the Mist of Wishes. Ethelred is king again, and Blunt was back to his usual self. Daphne was the princess, and Puck... Well, even I can't say for sure where Puck might turn up again. <laughs>